Hello, and welcome to this week's video blog from the Center for Human Awakening. My name is Rob Meager. I'm co-founder of the Center. And this week, we'll share a reading from Richard Harvey's book, Your Essential Self. And we'll conclude our mini-series on stages of transition to this video blog, share a reading titled, A Brief Summary of further thresholds, and it's re referring to thresholds beyond the 50s threshold. At age 56, we face an opportunity to choose and deepen that echoes the 28 threshold. We are offered the opportunity to redefine ourselves and establish who we are beneath any remnants of the I that we are still attached to. The Saturnine gravity of this choice is less acute and painful than it was when we were 28. Unless we have held on to too much and refused to cross the psychological and spiritual thresholds along our life's path. In our early 60s, so long as we have avoided becoming embittered or cynical through the calcification of unresolved emotional patterns, we may experience the urge to give back to life, either through our creativity, in service to our wider community, or by finding a new role in our families. The 60s represent a natural balance and an outflowing of wisdom and life experience. At age 72, we start again, refreshed with new innocence and genuine openness. It is the second age of the child but with the wisdom and insight born from the life we have lived. Responding to these stages in human life with conscious awareness is a wonderful gift to ourselves and others. Appreciating the miraculous ability we have to witness and reflect, we can live fully, openly, and authentically. We can learn, as Confucius says, to follow the dictates of our heart. With guidance from our center, our lives may become a journey of purification in order that natural wisdom flowers in our hearts. The trials and tests of our younger selves, immersed in the challenges of the thresholds of maturity, assume the deep significance of the journey of a soul returning to its eternal state. We may look back with fondness and compassion at our struggles, recalling our younger self grappling with what were at times overwhelming and all absorbing challenges. As we pass through the dramas of our life, a new perspective, a new freedom and tranquility dawns in us, along with the deep knowledge that our true nature is beyond all worldly transitions. The person who lives through these changes from a spiritual perspective is enriched in a numinous dimension that the person who is merely outwardly oriented can only guess at. The problems we encounter with resistance, denial, and diversion are made easier when we live from this spiritual dimension. We learn to flow, deepen, and nourish ourselves through the changes and participate fully in the growth and fulfillment of our humanness. The outer world is filled with significance and power through symbols, insights, ritual, and initiation. Life is always teaching us.